All right, today I want to show you some of the directories and files that I had to set up to get Ansible working on my Cisco iOS devices. So the first one I had to set up here would be um, the Ansible directory. That, that, that did not get set up uh, when I installed Ansible. So I had to create that. Uh, the second one that I had to create right off the bat would be the host file. Uh, that's going to be the first thing you really go to. Uh, that's going to be a file that holds the IP addresses or uh, in the case that you have DNS set up, the names of the hosts that you are going to be running your playbooks on. So as you can see, I have three hosts set up and I have them set up in a group called iOS. As you can see, iOS is inside those brackets there. Uh, so I just used VI and created this file. Now I did use a different format um, at first um, because I was using three devices that weren't all using the same exact username and password because uh, I was using a Raspberry Pi that, that had a different password on it than my Cisco devices. I was just experimenting. So I figured out that you actually can use, you can put the username and the password in the host file next to the IP address if you use this format right here. Uh, so that would come in handy if you had a scenario, uh, let's say, where all your devices aren't using the same exact username and password. Uh, so if you have some devices that are going to require a different username and password, um, now really you could just put them in a different a different group um, and then maybe run two playbooks and use a different secrets file. Um, but just so you know, you can set them up in this format. So I'll show you the secrets file that I was referring to. So this is where I stored my username and password. Um, so this is the exact username and password that all three of these devices are using. Uh, so I, what I can do is in my playbook, I can just reference uh, the secrets file as a variable. And then I can just put the IPs in the host file and um, be over the SSH connection. So there's an example of the host file and the secrets file that I'm using. So that's a really good start for you guys. The third file is the Ansible config file. Now this also did not get set up when I installed Ansible. I had to go find this on the internet here, uh, use VI and just create this file. So as I'm scrolling through here, you can see uh, most of these are commented out. Uh, with the hashtag in front of them there. So they're not actually in use right now. So I did try and kind of mess around with a couple of them. Um, you know, I was ran into a couple of issues when I first started and, and I kind of dug into the config file and tried to change some things around. Um, for the most part here, uh, they're all commented out. Uh, I, I do have the remote port of 22 and, and have my transport set to SSH. Uh, you can change that to Paramico um, if you want. I did, I did turn off the host key checking, which is just checks the RSA keys. You know, most of this was just kind of tinkering when I first started. So you can see on, on this, I, I changed the timeout to 20 seconds, thinking maybe that's why something wasn't working, right? I changed it from 10 to 20. Um, other than that, you know, I didn't really need to make too many changes in here. Most of these are still commented out. But I did have to create that file. So let's take a look in my Ansible directory. All right, so let's take a look at what else I have in here. Um, these files right here are actually playbooks that I've been working on. Uh, one of them will turn VTP to transparent mode. Uh, one of them will configure a banner on your Cisco device. And this is what, just the beginning steps of what I'm trying to do. Uh, I have some that will do show commands, uh, so I can show run on all the devices, show version on all the devices. This test two one is pretty interesting. Let's take a look at that. All right, so if you scroll to the top here, you'll notice uh, the three dashes. So all YAML files are gonna start with three dashes like that. Uh, when you're dealing with the iOS, you're also gonna need to set up 
uh, the host as iOS. Um, so that's going to point back to my, my host file in the iOS group. But you're going to have to turn gather facts as no and connection as local uh, if you want any of this stuff to work on iOS. Um, now you see the secret YAML file is mentioned here uh, as a variable. And what's that, what that's saying is uh, for the host, username, password, and auth password, go ahead and check the variable of you know, the secret YAML file. And for every one of these tasks here, there's, you know, it references provider, which says, you know, use that, that secret YAML file for, for authentication. So what I want to show you here is this task that says assign host name. And of course, provider, authorize. Now it says host name and then new host name in, in handlebars, right? Double handlebars. So what that is, is actually a variable in Ansible that is going to reference the host vars file. And it's going to set the host name to whatever I have the new host name set up in the host vars file. So let's take a look at that file. I'm sorry, it's a host vars directory. And then each device you can set up a file for. Uh, so I have a file for each of these devices, um, and that's basically just a test uh, of, of this playbook. What I wanted to do is change the host name uh, to whatever I have referenced in this file of 192.168.161.9. Uh, so you can see very, very simple files just created in VI. just says new host name and then whatever I want it to be. Uh, the naming convention here is just router on the last digit of the IP and then ANS for Ansible. And I'm going to run this playbook and show you guys Ansible in action. So what it's going to do is reference these files. It's going to change the host name on all of my devices uh, to this format right here. So let me show you what the devices have on them right now. Uh, I'm going to SSH into them and just show you. Um, I just did a two-day CCNA boot camp, and so they're set up with that banner, and then each student kind of named the router for themselves. Uh, so this one's Mike's router. Uh, dot 15 looks like uh, that was Rich's router, right? That's one of the steps I have them do is, is kind of build the router from scratch. So they put that banner on there, and they put that host name on there. Uh, looks like dot eighty eight. I'm not sure that anyone used that one in the class. Let's see. Okay, so it's just set up as RTR eighty eight. So uh, now you saw the before, and what we're going to do now is run this Ansible playbook and have it ho change the host names. All right, this isn't working, and I think I know why. It's because I'm still in the host vars directory. All right, so let me uh, just go back one, back to my Ansible directory. And now I'm going to use the commands Ansible dash playbook. Dash I for inventory, and I'm going to use my hosts file. Oh, as you can see, this isn't going to work right here. I exit, I typed that wrong here. Give it just a sec to run through. I did not include the hosts file uh, for my inventory, so I did not know what hosts to run the playbook on. So it'll give you an error message that kind of looks like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and correct that here. So after the dash I for inventory, let's let's tell it to for the inventory, let's use the host file. And then we'll type in the name of the playbook, which is test two. Okay, now it's running the test two playbook. It's uh, obtaining the login credentials from the secrets YAML file. It is uh, doing a show run on all three devices. And now it is assigning the host name and you can see it changed on all three of them. Uh, it's, show, it's doing a show run again. And the reason I have it set up to do that is because you can kind of scroll up here. You can see what uh, the running config was before. 
it made any changes, and then you can see what the running config was after it assigned the host name, right? And it, it shows you the, the three devices it was working on. So let's look at what it was before we ran the playbook here. Okay, so yeah, so you can see in the running config there on dot nine, uh, the host name was Mike's router. The, the, this is all still in testing phases for me here. So that's why there's, I have still have so much output coming in here because I really want to see what it's doing. So it made its changes. It did the show run command again on dot nine and bam, the host names changed to router nine. That's exactly what we had in the uh, host fars directory under uh, the file created for this router. So let me SSH into these again and we can go ahead and prove that it worked on all three of them. Okay, so it's the router 88 Ansible naming convention. Let's try 15. Router 15 Ansible, okay. And let's try dot nine. Okay, so there you can see the, the power of Ansible yet again. Uh, you can see some of the directories and some of the files that I had to set up to get all this working. All right, stay tuned for more videos.